Welcome back fellow problem solvers, John East here, all the way from South Africa, Jeffreys Bay, if you were wondering. So today, flow diagrams, how to work with a flow diagram, how to understand rules, formula, patterns, and how to work with them. Remember, what you put in, you will get out. So the input influences the output. Stay tuned to understand why I said that. Good day fellow problem solvers, hope you're doing well. Today we are starting a new uh, topic called functions and relationships and we're focusing on flow diagrams today. What is a flow diagram? A flow diagram is a diagram that helps us to structure how to get an output value by using a specific rule and the input value. What is the input value? That's a number substituted for the variable in the formula or rule. What's the output value? The answer for the particular input value. In other words, after the calculation has taken place. So let's look at a few examples. So first of all, I would like to use example one. So what is our rule? I can, I'm going to make this one an easy one. I'm just going to say whatever the input value is times two and thereafter minus three. So let's make it easy. We say this is a 4, a 5, and a 6. So let's see. What is 4 times 2? Well, the answer is 8. You've probably guessed it. And 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. So this 5 is the corresponding output value for an input value of 4. Okay, 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. The next one, 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. So this was our first example. Let's look at our second example. And over here I'm going to show you exactly what is being meant with the variable. A variable is an unknown. That is a symbol or a letter being used to represent the position of a number. So... It can be written in anything like this. Let's say 3x minus, uh, let's say, 5. So remember this x over here, which is in brackets, that is the variable. So our input value will be substituted in the place of x. So let's... Uh, give ourselves a few numbers let's say this is a two a four and a six okay now two will be substituted in terms of in the place of x so three times two is six six minus five is equal to one and let's look at four four times three is twelve twelve minus five is equal to seven let's say six times 3, remember 6 is where the x is now, is equal to 18. 18 minus 5 is equal to 13. So you can see now how the input value correlates with the output value by using a specific rule. Thank you for your time and stay tuned for more. 